Hi, I'm Karen Pender, and I'm meeting today with Ian Riley, a CFC student in the Film and Video Production Program. Thank you for joining us, Ian. It's great to be here. So I hear you are interested in filmmaking, and you've been in this program for a while. What interested you in the CFCC program? Uh, I've always been into filmmaking, and I always want to sort of be like them, you know, uh, make videos, sort of just be myself on camera. But, uh, you know, I was dating a girl in high school and she was in this very program. We were early college students. Um, so I think she dropped out. But once I graduated, I thought I'd check this place out, see what it's all about. And uh, it's been a great experience. What areas of film most interest you? For me, it was the writing and the editing. And over the two years, that hasn't really changed. It's still my two favorite parts is writing the script and then taking the footage and almost like telling a story through the edit. I recently saw your project, Liam, which you both wrote and directed. Was that your first project that you directed? Um, it was not. And um, of course, I had a co-writer and a co-director on Liam. But uh, the first thing I did fully independently in this program, where it was, uh, I wrote it and shot it, directed it, edited it. Um, it was this terrible project, you know, first semester. Um, most first semester projects are terrible, but I'm honest, you know, most people won't admit that. But uh, that was a nightmare shoot. I think we shot it in like three hours. And it was like with some people that just weren't very serious. I don't want to name them out, call them out or anything, but uh, they like dropped out second semester. They were uh, making weed brownies while we were shooting. Uh -oh. But anyways, Moral of the story, you have to find someone serious and reliable. I only work with serious people, professionals. Um, what lessons did you learn from this project that you would take to future projects? Let me think. You know, with Lamb, we just got lucky. We like did all the pre-production in like two weeks and somehow it just turned out good. You don't want to do that. You want to give yourself like, I don't know, a month or two to like really get all the people together, all your locations like I'm doing now with my current project. You know, I think we're shooting it in like three weeks or something. We've been planning it for over a month. With Liam, um, tell me, how did that progress from inception to picture lock? This idea of a guy who has like a gift for his son, a stuffed lamb, but like the world is trying to take it away from him, but he doesn't want to give it away. But he's like tempted to just throw it in the garbage. And then I think I told this idea to my friend Ben Knopf, he told me, like, that's literally the best idea I've ever heard. You should write that. So uh, I wrote a script, and then he helped me revise it. And then we immediately start hitting up all our actors. Most of them couldn't make it. They were busy. It was on such short notice. But luckily, uh, Troy and his girlfriend, Mara, were available on those specific days that we were going to shoot. And then uh, our sound teacher, uh, Slim, he let us use the bar. And uh, it all just fell into place perfectly. What goals do you have um, in film and how are you going about striving toward them? I've just been making content. Um, it's always been my dream to sort of, I guess, write sketch comedy. So I've just been doing that. And hopefully I can keep doing it after I graduate and maybe that'll grow into something. I think in the next couple months, I'm gonna focus more on like crew work just to make money. But um, obviously the big dream is to be a screenwriter. What are you most proud of? in terms of your progression as a filmmaker? Well, I know recently I was just looking at some of my most recent video, and then I looked at some of the oldest projects I did, and I realized that um, you know, I'd grown so much without realizing it. Before I entered this program, I thought filmmaking was just um, having a DSLR and a, an H6 ball mic, and then booting up Vegas Pro. But um, it's just everything, you know, learning like what a good lens is, how to use a good lens, what a better camera is, don't use Vegas, use Premiere or DaVinci, which I don't use, but you should maybe use it. What do you think of the current state of filmmaking and where do you see the future of filmmaking? It's, um, I don't know. It's okay. It it's, it's somewhat watchable. And, and um, CGI locations. That's all really good. Yeah. Um, and I think the future of filmmaking is probably just all CGI. It'll be like a Pixar movie, but it'll be like, it'll look like real people. So, you know, Avengers 15 will have like CGI, Samuel L. Jackson, who will probably be dead by then, but they'll get him anyways. Do you think they'll deep fake? 
Yeah, I think being an actor in the future, it'll probably be like, like there will be no more new actors. They'll just recycle the same actors over and over again for thousands of years, which is cool, you know, whatever. It'll be like new mythology, like, you know, Zeus, like the Greek pantheon, it'll be a pantheon of actors just recycled forever. But um, that's what I predict. How do you feel about that? <sighs> it is what it is. It is what it is. Yeah. What advice would you give for a student just starting the program? I would say you can't waste your time. I'm about to be slim real quick, all right? You can't be messing around. You gotta like use your time as wisely as possible. You should be living here, all right? You only have two years. That's gonna fly by faster than you think. I know this better than anyone. You gotta go as hard as possible. You gotta make as many films as possible so you can grow and you gotta try your hardest. Um, you don't wanna graduate and then regret not making your dream project or just, you're, you don't wanna regret anything. Was there one particular faculty member that inspired you the most? I guess I would say Shorty, you know, cause I heard he started here. And I think when he started here, we, he wasn't really working in film. And I heard that- um, What does he teach? He teaches camera, he's a camera teacher. and. He also knows a thing or two about lighting, I believe. And um, I think he said he like got his start with the red. I think this was like 15 years ago, digital cameras were still like new. He said like, just cause he knew how to use a digital camera 15 years ago, it got him a lot of work. So I guess there's something inspiring in that. It's like, okay, if you just get good at something that opens doors. So if I get good at something here, there you go, that's money. That status, that's power. Absolutely. Well, I think that about wraps it up, Ian. I think Mr. Riley has a very bright future in the film industry. It's great to be here.